Capricorn what is going on my dears it is Mira it is Shira it is Vera it is Scorpion Red Tarot I am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed to let you guys know what the energies is surrounding you for the month of August 2020 show me the monthy energy yes indeed thank you every last one of you 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 and you for clicking this video shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you guys who's clicked this video if um these videos resonate and you would like to um book a personal and private reading only thing you need to do is click the about tab on my youtube page um my pricing list is there send me a message on instagram and we're gonna get it popping baby if you do not have an instagram no problem only thing you need to do is email me at scorpio and reds at gmail.com i'll help get you set up on um google hangouts it's a free app only thing we need to exchange is our email address for us to connect with each other for the video chat for your reading okay if um at any time that you guys feel moved to um send a show of support and love to the page again thank you guys again for all of these amazing decks that you see here because a lot of them have been donated by you i think the only one that i actually purchased myself was these two but these three right here this this deck right here you guys gave to me as a birthday present and is one of my favorite decks it's um my santa morte deck and I, and I really really love it so i appreciate again all of the love all of the bookings all of the like shares and subscribes that you guys have been sending out during you know COVID. um i really really appreciate it if you guys like i said if you want to send any support over to my page at all or donate a deck my amazon wish list is on the about uh tab as well as my paypal and my cash app link okay so Thank you again for all the love and just sending many blessings to every last one of you during this season. So, um, you know, as we always do before we get into any reading, we got to give love and thanks to the creator. I'm going to switch my candle up real quick. Excuse me. That one look like it's about done. It's about done. We got a brand new one. We're going to start out fresh for success. Because be blessed. Okay, Capricorn. What's going on? So, baby. Let's uh, give thanks to the creator. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here and shining your light through, to and through us. Um, Father God, we feel like such masterful creators right now. Like, a couple of months ago, a lot of us were in situations where we didn't know what was going on and right now where we currently stand we are covered we are happy and we're blessed and we are very 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 um happy and looking forward to all of the blessings that we have um cultivated upon our footsteps going forward in our life um uh, we send a lot of blessings to everyone and hope that everyone's family is, is safe and healthy and going strong within these times. But I'm telling you, Capricorn is really, really going strong. They're being innovative. They're being fighters. They're being naturalists. If you, you know what I'm saying? Just certain things that just naturally that they're gifted at that come to them. They're allowing those gifts to help them thrive during this time. So, Father God, just thank you again for just keeping us gifted and blessed and highly favored. Uh, give us guidance for my Capricorns. Let us know what's going on, Father God, for the month of August 2020. Show me the money energy. Thank you again for just keeping us here and keeping us covered. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's get into it. So, I'm going to do you guys just like I did Sagittarius. I'm just going to, I'm going to a blind. I'm just going to lay the cards out. We're just going to get into it. Okay. So let's see what we got for Capricorn for August 2020. Capricorn for August. Oh. Okay. You said fuck the goddamn not being seen. I want to be seen. It says the healer and the hunter. They came out in the reverse though. The healer and the hunter. Okay. The reason why I'm getting the healer and the hunter 
in the reverse. And I'm going to keep it 100% honest. I feel like you're focused on your healing. I, it's like you can't focus on nobody else right now. That's why this is in the reverse. You see how that little seed is right there at the top? It's something about knowing. It's something about, you see that three-headed monster right there? I feel like when you be trying to do too much or trying to get in too deep or uh, try to acquire too much to what you were accustomed to too fast, it's something about something coming too fast or, you know what I'm saying, not allowing things to kind of grow naturally. Anything that comes in an unnatural speed, like quick money, like quick advances, quick loans, like something, it's something about that. You know how to take things slow and allow things to just develop and grow naturally. It's, it's, it's You are avoiding I'm now I'm getting like it's like you guys are they're saying heal from the hustle you know it's like you don't have to because with the hunter in the reverse too again I feel like you're not in search for the hustle you're not in search for the grind you're not in search it's like you're allowing things to kind of come to you naturally i don't feel like you're trying to cater that you're trying to heal that you're trying to take other people's problems on for yourself you planted a seed and you are progressively seeing it grow and get bigger and bigger and get to where it is that you eventually want it to be it's something about I'm getting you being on the grind and trying to take other people with you that got problems or got issues and trying to make ends meet or trying to sacrifice and trying to do a whole bunch of shit. I feel like you had too much on your plate trying to, your eyes bigger than your stomach. Do you understand what I'm saying? And again, it's because I feel like you were hunts and you were searching for something and you learn to I feel like you healed from that. You're not hunting. You're not searching for anything. You got the world in the reverse here. So, okay. Your stuff is just flipping out. Now, I'm trying to do what I did in the blind with Sagittarius. But, clearly, you like no bitch. Hold on. See, again, what is this? The Nine of Wands. Okay. And the judgment in the reverse. And then you got the strength too. You got the protected card. That is amazing. That's good. Now, I am going to put these other cards here in because y'all not, listen, y'all not about to come bully me. <laughs> y'all not about to come bully me, goddammit. Like, I want to see it now. That's exactly what you're doing. I already know. No, actually. Focus on matters of the heart. Capricorn. Strength. Nine of Wands. I know that's right. You better stand tall. Okay? The Empress in reverse. We design ourselves. Alright, 
So let's get into this Capricorn. So again, I feel like you're not in search and a hunt for anything anymore. Um, I feel like you've moved past the healing and you've, you're focusing more on your healing and what you're trying to cultivate and what you're trying to go. You're not trying to do things too fast. I feel like you're trying to take things slow and you recognize like without patience, it doesn't harness stability. Lack of patience doesn't harness stability. You know, so you're learning patience. The world in the reverse basically says that um, as the world turns, you know, we're constantly going through ups and downs. We're constantly going through stages of learning, growing, renewing ourselves, reinventing ourselves, as you can see with the Empress in the reverse here. So it's about like taking a pause and kind of gathering ourselves to realize, you know, every single thing that we were supposed to like, out of everything that we endured, like, what was the lesson during this phase in our life? You know, like, this is almost the completion. Like, the completion is, like, the final test of really, it's not about everyone else. Because to me, like, the world is about, it's not about anybody else. It's about you and your journey and your lesson. Because I feel like a lot of people... They use the excuse of, well, I was trying to help this person or this, this, and that, this, this, and that. It's not about them. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes people... Uh, like, how do I say this? Have you ever spoken to someone and you ask them, well, what do you want? Or you ask them a question about their self and... They don't even realize that they're talking more about somebody else more than their self. Do you understand? And it's because they feel like, oh, well, I have to do this for this person as if that is their purpose in life to do something for someone else instead of focusing on their own path and their journey. That's why the judgment is in the reverse with the world is because, you know, it's about realizing that the lack of balance in your life is because... You have to finalize the stage and really fundamentally understand the lesson. Because as the world turns, you're going to continuously get at this point where, okay, you've been through this through whole. Okay, this is just like at New Year's every year, right? So it's like every year at New Year's, we get the reset button. It's a new year. You can go through the same shit every year, every year, every year. Right? And on Christmas, you know, you're supposed to be with your family. You're supposed to be reflecting. You're supposed to rejoice and stuff like that. And because you know New Year's is coming. You're supposed to have your rev your, your um New Year's resolution. You're supposed to look at what did you learn, what did you accomplish this year. Before that ball strikes at midnight, that's like your judgment day for what you have accomplished from what you've learned and what you've aspired to in your world that year. Right? So this is basically saying that I realize that I can't heal other people. I have to take time and heal myself so things can grow appropriately. I can't be on a hunt and be out here looking for something because what I'm looking for is looking for me. And that's what you had to learn. The world is going to continuously turn and you can continuously have a repeat of the same events. You have to understand that the judgment and the responsibility relies on you because you're going to be called at the end of the year or whenever it is for you to reflect on what you've learned or the mistakes that you've made and the choices that you're going to make then after. Um, and it's not about nobody else. It's about you. I, f I feel like I'm getting something about it's like people... It's like being in the search for broken people to fix instead of fixing yourself. Do you understand? The strength card to me, that's like conquering and being able to withdraw yourself from the urge of 
trying to slay other people's demons. I feel like I don't know why I'm really getting something like someone feeling like they got to help someone else. And I really feel like someone needs to let that go. Like, like this is saying right here with this, like you have to stand your ground and set boundaries because I want to say like this nine of wands right here. I like, I always look at this card as some level of celebration and someone not being able Someone being able to realize that you don't have to bring a gun to the party. I don't know why I feel like I have to take it to that extreme. But sometimes in the Capricorn readings, y'all readings be like that. Like y'all readings be about like some street shit or some shit like that sometimes. But it's like you don't have to bring protection to the party or something like that. Like you can go out and be around other people and know that you are protected and that you can support yourself and stay in your ground without having to bring iron, without bringing force, without bringing pistols or something like that. It's like you have enough strength to speak your peace and make people back down. Without. Now I'm getting something about why someone... And then the Empress in the reverse. Now I'm getting something else. Now I'm getting another story. I don't mean to be jumping around. But. This Empress in the reverse is important right here to somebody. Because I feel like someone's world was turned upside down. And they, be, they could be going through like a court decision where someone may you know, get a unfair judgment or something, or like they may lose out of court, possibly go through some, I'm not seeing incarceration here though, I'm not, but I'm just seeing like, they just said someone bailed out of court or something, someone bailed out or something like, something happened where someone ended up having to bail out. And it's like, I feel like someone was in a search for a perfect woman or something like that. And it's like you keep meeting these women like these empresses in the reverse. Like these fixer uppers if you will. You know what I'm saying? Like the empress in reverse can be someone that's a little unkept. A little homely. Someone that doesn't know how to keep up her appearance. And not a good mother. And like. Things like that. It's like someone like, well, I could teach her how to be the type of lady that I, you know what I'm saying. And like that can be like a judgment or something. I feel like there is someone that keeps putting it. They keep going through the same shit every year. It's like they need to stop being in a hunt for people that they can fix and heal. It's like it's something about you that you need to heal within yourself and have strength to not be attached or be enticed by these empresses in the reverse like the empresses in the reverse is someone that things don't grow like she doesn't know how to it's bad mothering skills or something like that i don't know if this has to do with bad mothering skills or something like that maybe you need to take your time and heal and realize that Maybe the women that you're attracting is because of some type of bad mothering skills. And the more and more that you're on the hunt and the search, the more and more you meet these improper, unfashionable women. Because even like the Empress in Reverse, she can be someone that lacks fashion. Like she can dress inappropriate or just has tacky taste or something like that. Like their houses are unkept. They're not... You know, like, you know, um, the Empress in Reverse can rep and be someone that needs to change, someone that needs to reinvent their self. They're outdated, like, underdressed or overdressed or, like I said, uh, just have old, tattered furniture, just basically re needs to redo and revise every fucking thing so that they can feel beautiful, like... The Empress in the Reverse is someone that doesn't understand their beauty, that doesn't understand their, you know what I'm saying, doesn't understand their gifts and their purpose. The Protection card, it says you are safe and supported while you change your career. 
the protection. You don't have to bring a pistol to the to the club. And I'm saying that because it's something about this empress here, this type of lady that I feel like someone because of some type of healing, it's like you don't really realize that your life and the occurrences and the things in your life and in your world is not changing because The people that you go after or that come after you in some way, it's a reflection of your healing. That needs to be done. I feel like you really don't like the results of these situations because you clearly can see you trying to stand your ground. You got the nine of wands and you got the strength. So it's like you're trying to set your barriers. You're trying to control yourself. You're trying to... Like I said, not bring a gun to the party is something about you feeling like. I don't want to say like people trying to attack you or engage you or entice you or something like that. But I want to say like you may have an addiction, if you will, to. Chasing or hunting after low vibrational women or you can just be like a person of importance or something that is a well-liked person Like you see like these people are celebrating at a party like you could be a party goer or something like you could be like a very popular person It's like people coming out to see you you feel like you need protection because like these bitches be trying to come after you You have to have strength and stuff like that because your world be all upside down because you're like a judgment you be feeling like you can heal these women and shit like that and you might not be chasing after them, but they're chasing after you. You know what I'm saying? It's like being able to party and being able to stand your ground with the wrong type of energy of people. Do you understand? Like That's what I'm kind of getting as well. Let's see what we got over here. We got the temperance over here. So that means just like being balanced as fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like literally being carried by your wisdom, by your integrity, by your faith. It's like... You have your foot in the spiritual world and you have your, your foot in the earthly world. It's like allowing what you have gained, what you have learned, what you have, you know what I'm saying, grown in a tangible sense here on this earth. You're taking a little bit of that to your spiritual realm where it's like you're asking for wisdom. You're asking for guys, guidance. You're replenishing yourself. You're honoring yourself. You're keeping yourself pure. You're keeping, you know, and it's something about you trying to keep yourself Pure. You're trying to balance yourself. You're trying to keep yourself in harmony because trying to fix people and not fixing yourself and not realize what you're moving towards has been the problem. And I feel like you're trying to change that. You're trying to change that and become more balanced. You know, what's he was over here? The emperor, like I said, trying to take charge, trying to be more mature. You want to be more old fashioned. It's like this is someone that I feel like has old fashioned values is very much so a family man. I feel like this person is just attracted to the wrong type of woman. I feel like you like fast money, fast bitches. You like the party scene. Like this person is like a go getter. I don't know. You could be like. A party promoter, you could be someone that is a musician, you could be something. I'm really getting that. I'm really getting that you have to control your temptation. Like it's like you gotta control the beast because whatever type of lifestyle that you have, it's like it's a continuous thing. It's just what you do, is what you're good at, is what you are boss at. Like, this is what you do. You understand what I'm saying? But you have to control. Like, if you're going to be in this world, you have to control recognizing these type of women and knowing that you can't fix them, you can't heal them, you know. And, and, and something about these type of women, I feel like it's out fashion and outdated to you. It's out fashion and outdated to you. And you know your world is going to continuously not go in a direction 
as long as you allow. I want to say like these people to feed on you. Like it's, it's why I feel like people feed off your popularity or something like that. The sunglasses again. It's like you are trying to keep yourself to get it and then with the with the nine of wands it's like you're setting boundaries you keeping yourself like i don't know if you want stealth mode you incognito like you see like you got your glasses on in the crowd it's like you're trying to blend in you're trying to take safe mechanisms where people don't recognize you so you can enjoy yourself and have a good time without like a whole bunch of these little thirst bots being on you and stuff because you're not trying to be tempted i feel like you're trying to do your job get in and get out it's something about a lack of judgment or something um in the past about things that you've created in your past it says watching looking stalking gaslighting perception stalk. yeah it's like it's it's this empress right here what she got going on the hammer force it's like i feel like someone is tired of this constant unfortunate bullshit as outcome i want they want their world to change it's something that they haven't learned that they haven't grasped and they they're not getting in and i feel like they're finally realizing that I need to chill and stop being this hunter. It's like it's something about this masculine energy. It's like this emperor. You're an apex predator. You're a boss. You're a leader. You're this. You're this. You're that. And it's like it's something about very much old-fashioned values being here. And it's like trying to control yourself and be more of a gentleman. And I know that these people are looking at me. I know that these girls are plotting on me. A lot of these girls want to get in my pants and stuff like that. But I have to continue to keep myself a gentleman and remember everything that I'm been gifted to grow and learn and experience in my life and I gotta keep myself upholded in faith like I feel like something is being hammered in your head about these low vibrational women like these this is old this is you know what I'm saying they're only good for one thing they're, they're made to fuck they're not made to create families with you understand like these women are not good mothers it's like you met them in the streets you met them in the club like that's what you expect them to be you know what I'm saying I feel like something is being hammered in your head and again you're safe and supportive while you change your career you may be changing your career you know because maybe you feel like what you do attracts the wrong type of women it's like maybe this is not the world or the arena that you know what i'm saying like this may be you might have been in a hunt for fortune or fame and to uh, come to a certain level of prominence in your life that maybe now that you finally got it it's just like i'm not even hunting from that for that anymore um like i'm kind of healed from that one it's I don't even like what I'm attracting, like, I'm having to be on stealth mode, I'm having to hide and put, it's like, I feel like this is you right here with the beard on, it's like someone got like a mask and some glasses on, it's just like, you know, I just, like, I, I feel like you just having to hide from people, you know what I'm saying, it says sabotage, again, like, this like some, some hoes trying to sabotage, like, you're rebuilding right now, and again, but like I said, the Empress does rep, rep, it does mean someone rebuilding, someone redesigning their life, um, someone having an upgrade, remodeling their house. Like they want something that's beautiful in the inside and out. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody that, like this is someone that, again, like I said, has an uninviting house, like an unkept house. Like you don't really want to invite anybody to your house because it's not to a certain standard where you don't want nobody to judge you. So again, like this could be you not wanting to be judged because of the type of women that you date or the type of lifestyle you know what i'm saying like i just ugh. it's like being hammered into your head like you again it says repetitive so this is something that you keep going through the same experience over and over and over and over and over and over again and it's because you had a hard time learning something and i feel like you're you're you're, you're tired of being you're tired of having a hard time to learn this challenge or overcoming this challenge you're tired of receiving the short end of the stick and having negative judgments against you it's something about you redesigning 
and having a choice to have a better a better standard and a quality and a certain level of beauty in your life. Um, I want to say that you're hiding from old hoes. You might even have stalkers. What is this? The seven of cups. Like, again, you have many options. So it's like you have a lot of doors and a lot of things being offered to you. Like I said, you could have several different people trying to, you know, offer you advances right now in life. You might have like many opportunities and you may be confused because it's like all of them are beautiful, but they may be beautiful on the, you know, on the outside, but the inside is rotten. You know what I'm saying? Like that might be fake gold. You know what I'm saying? Like that costume jewelry, like it may not be everything that it was cracked up to be, you know? So it's like, Really standing up for yourself for what you want, you know, setting boundaries, not not letting things in that doesn't deserve to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to bring a gun to a party where it's like you feel like you need to protect yourself, like bitch back up. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing like that. But at the same time, I am getting I am so much so getting like court dates and shit because dealing with ghetto ass or just drama filled toxic ass bullshit stuff getting to the pussy uh, you know what i'm not even about to fucking do that because that's wrong as fuck that's wrong as fuck but okay i'm gonna say like a tory lanes and fucking meg the stallion situation that we we don't even know what really happened there you know what i'm saying but it's like a toxic situation i know Men that had girls try to stab them, like pull guns out on them, like, you know, like legitimately because they fucking crazy. And for whatever reason, these men continuously date these crazy ass women. No disrespect. And if you're a cross watch or nothing, I'm not saying that y'all are crazy. Only take what resonates. I'm just reading what the fuck is on here. I'm just reading what's on here. You... As a man, because I'm really get this as a man, it's the emperor energy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person as a man is at this point in their life, they're taking responsibility and they are trying to have a standard. Um, I feel like because they feel like they need to protect themselves and set a boundary and, and stand up for themselves, they may be on stealth mode right now. They may be in disguising themselves or... Like, may not be, they might be out, but not be as visible as, or as being seen or something like that. I feel like now someone could have a restraining order. Now I'm getting a restraining order. Why do I feel like something happened? And it's like right now it's a test of strength because you can't continuously date these type of women. It's like your lifestyle or something is changing for the better and... I feel like you're no longer seeking or even trying to heal these or help these type of women. It's just like, I'm hurting myself trying to, you know what I'm saying? I hope I'm making any type of sense. Like, because it's, okay, not, okay, like, I don't want to say sugar daddy, but I am getting that. Not, not like a sugar daddy or like a trick in a sense, but it's like, you got these women that need help. And it's like. Somehow, because you're dealing with them, you feel some type of obligated to help them and you don't mind helping them. But these bitches is crazy or they don't know how to help themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how do I get caught up in this shit? Anyway, these type of people are going to sabotage your life advances. And the only way that you are going to move forward is if you stop chasing after trying to heal other people and heal yourself and ask yourself why am I attracted to these people why am I attracting these type of people like I don't want to keep going through this every you know and keep failing at the same test every year I feel like this is being hammered to you and everything that glitters ain't gold and I know it's confusing sometimes but you really got to have patience and really Look at the source of what is being offered to you before you just jump yourself into anything, you know. Um, what is this? Karmic relationship. The karmic relationship card was in the reverse. And this is the only one I sat down here in the reverse for whatever reason. But this says fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Again, like you guys are blocking any type of karmic relationships. You guys are, again, setting boundaries. You are, again... 
having strength. Like you're not being tested. You're not being tempted by no, you know, a fat booty in a, in a pretty face. With broke pockets and drama. I'm sorry. It's like you're the emperor. It's like you got a lot going for you with this emperor card. It's like you have a lot of class. You have a lot of potential. I feel something about you being attracted to, I want to say project hoes. I'm sorry. I just like very karmic, dramatic projects. Like these fixer uppers. Like, no. You know what I'm saying? What is this? Ascending, like you're ascending now. Again, like I don't want to try to fix these people no more. I don't feel obligated to help them. Like I'm, I feel like this person wants their own family, want to take care of their own responsibilities. It's like I don't want to go through this struggle of trying to get away from this karmic relationship with these people that can't even help themselves so how can they help me or, or give me anything good of my life like this is being hammered into my head because that's why I keep going through this negative judgment and all this bad luck and this drama keeps coming to me because this is being hammered into my head and I have many options I have many options but I have to stand up for what I believe in I don't have to feel like I gotta bring a gun to the party like I don't have to fear these people you know what I'm saying I'm just going to be on self mode and I'm keeping myself balanced. Period. And I'm ascending. It says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new favorite, new phases, preparing for union. Like I told you, this is like the emperor wants marriage. Marriage. I feel like this person is tired of hoes. This person struggled through their own healing. And like your. Getting yourself focused. You're getting yourself together. And you're protected while you change. Like that's why this karmic card was in the reverse. Like you're being. You are demonstrating your strength. Like you are controlling the beast. Like you're not letting these people just continue to affect you like that. I don't even think that was the hangman in the reverse. You most definitely have gotten down from everything. I feel like you've seen everything that you needed to see with perfect 2020 eye view you don't need no fixed vision you don't need no adjusted arrangement you know like I, you've been separated from something for a reason and it was for you to ascend it was for you to step into your role as a leader as a boss it was for you to see things differently so that you could go in a different direction that someone was very much so hung up on, a, on on trying to protect and feed and help and aid people that didn't want to help themselves and this empress card in the reverse could be a man or a woman because i know a lot of men that be acting like straight helpless homely bitches and i'm sorry and I, no mm -mm. i'm sorry y'all want come on how many don't y'all know men that whine and cry and act like damsel in distress ass fucking hoes? Like, oh my God, I need help and I can't do this. I can't work because the man and, uh, 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 and my mother and my baby mother and da, 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 da. Like, you can't. Listen, trying to get into something that is bigger than you, that three-head monster, like, girl, no. Do you understand? Focus on your healing. On little old you. You know, then you can conquer something bigger. Then you can conquer something bigger. Do you understand? Snakes and a lot of tarot and, a, and a, it means wisdom. It means wisdom. You know, you guys are protected and changing. You're tired of, 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 of the failed judgments. It's like I'm tired of losing in court. I'm tired of losing this battle. I'm tired of going through fucking drama. You know? So, and again, it looks like you're trying to reinvent yourself. You're trying to change. And it looks like you're trying to change what you're attracted to. And it's being hammered in your head right now. You know, that you need to focus on that. So, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Continue to stay balanced and in faith. Alright? If you like this video, click this video. Click the like button. Alright? If you want to book with me, you know what to do. Peace.